Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Cybel Explains. This video is all about types of fractions. Fractions come from the Latin word fractio, meaning the act of breaking into pieces. Fractions also indicate part or parts of a whole or a group when subdivided into equal parts. Let's say for example if we have a rope and we will try to divide the rope into five equal parts then we will use one part of this rope and this part represents or we can write it in fraction as one over five or one fifth our one is called numerator and five is our denominator the dividing line is called the fraction line or bar. The numerator tells the number of parts that are being used, eaten, or given, or being considered. So based on our example, we have one-fifth, one part of the rope was used. While our denominator shows how many equal parts this rope was divided into for this example we have divided the rope into five equal parts let's have some examples as i draw the following fractions so let's have the first one this is two fourths we write it in words as two fourths how about the second fraction? This is 3 fifths. We write it as 3 fifths. How about the last fraction? This is 1 third. We write it as 1 third. These fractions are called proper fractions. Why two fourths, three fifths, and one third are examples of proper fractions? It is because they are always less than one. If you notice, it does not reach one whole when we shaded the parts. It means they are less than one whole. And then if you notice, the numerators are all lesser compared to their denominators. Another example, let's just wait until I'm done with the drawing. It's really good that we have this drawing so that we can picture out how does a fraction look like. Knowing that many of us are visual learners, so it's better that we have a picture of what fraction is or how the fraction look like. So for the first fraction, we call it as three halves, written as three halves. For the second fraction, this is five thirds, written as five thirds. How about the third fraction? This is ten fifths, written as 10 fifths. These fractions are called improper fractions. What are improper fractions? These fractions are equal to 1 or more than 1. If you notice in the first fraction that we have here, we even shaded more than one whole. In the second, also more than one hole. And in the third, we even shaded two holes. And if we are going to take a look at the numerators here, they are all bigger compared to their denominators. Let me have the showing again because it's really easy for us to visualize if we have diagram of a fraction. Sometimes students are confused because they don't see the picture of what fractions 
look like. For the first example, this is two holes and one half. In words, you write two and one half. For the second example, this is three and two six. Three holes and two six are written as three and two sixths. For the third example, we have one and three fourths. Written as one and three fourths. This fractions are examples of mixed fractions or mixed numbers. Why 2 and 1 half, 3 and 2 sixths, and 1 and 3 fourths are examples of mixed fractions? Because mixed fractions are a combination of a whole number and a fraction. So if you're going to take a look at our examples, all of the examples have a combination of a whole number. This is a whole number here. And a fraction, whole number and a fraction, whole number and a fraction. Let us have some exercises. You have to identify if it is proper, improper, or mixed fraction. The first one is 4 and 2 eights. What type of fraction is this? Yes, the answer is mixed fraction. Because it is composed of a whole number and a fraction. Another example, 8 twelfths. What type of fraction is this? Yes, it is proper fraction. And if it is a proper fraction, it means it is less than one whole. The numerator is lesser compared to its denominator. Another example, 10 eighths. What type of fraction is this? Yes, the answer is in proper fraction. Improper fraction because the numerator is bigger compared to its denominator. Another example is 9 thirds. What type of fraction is this? Yes, it is improper fraction. Why is it an improper fraction? Because the numerator is bigger than its denominator. How about this one? 15 over 15 or 15 15. What is the answer? Yes, it is still an improper fraction. Why? It is because if you're going to divide 15 divided by 15, it is equal to 1. It says there that if it is an improper fraction, it means it is equal to 1 or more than 1. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!